Hi, I'm Christy Kaufman. My husband Fred and I have lived in Grandview Heights for over 40 years. I've studied issue six and I believe it is the right plan at the right time for our schools and community. Educational needs and safety concerns have greatly changed and we need to address those issues now. Come join me on a tour of our schools to see firsthand why we need to support issue six. It's a pleasure to meet you, Christy. Hi, Brett. Nice our to meet you. Our tour today represents our 38th tour uh, in the past three years. Wow. That's a lot of tours. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what are you going to show me today? Today, we're going to walk the high school. Uh, we have some areas to look at, and the first one off of the bat will be our hole in the ceiling. Oh, my gosh. When did that happen? This happened uh, about two months ago, uh, prior to school starting. Uh, it, it just collapsed. That's the original plaster up there from when the school was built. And a six foot long by six foot wide section just dropped through the, the drop ceiling. Did anyone get hurt? No, there was no students in the building. It's it just time. my staff. Wow. So this is, uh, Christy, this is the proper, uh, boiler room. Uh, this boiler room has been uh, out of service for probably 30, 40 years. Yeah. Uh, this system was just abandoned and walked away. Uh, here in a little bit more in the tour, I, we're going to look at the prop room that we currently have where our stage people store all their stuff. Yeah. Uh, but this this area and this space could be definitely used for needs of our, our, our students and staff or whatever. Yeah, it, would be, it could be put to good use. But, yeah. Um... So, Christy, this is one of our classrooms. This is a math classroom on the first mm -hmm. floor. Yeah. As you can see, uh, some of the major issues of the piping and the leaks in the ceiling. And the big issue here at Grandview is the windows. The windows, 85% of them don't open. We've had them fall out. You try to open them, they fall off a track. Uh, we even have one of the inner panes fall out in a classroom and hit a student in the head several years ago. Oh my gosh. Yes. You can see up there the <coughs> tracking. Yeah. Oh, I see. Out there. That's really... Um, uh, but you take a look around the room, you, you see things like electrical improperly run all over the place. Yeah. Uh, this is not a, a typical old air vents. They just put plywood over them. Uh, it's not the image and the structure we want to give our students no. in the future. Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about in the HVAC issues we have. Mm -hmm. Throughout the whole district, every building, every classroom has one of these units. We, they're called a unit vent. Mm -hmm. they, they do our cooling and heating. Okay. Uh, the problem is, as you can feel right now, there's cold air coming out of it. Yeah, and okay. it's like... So, this, this air travels over across the room to the thermostats way over by the door. Mm -hmm. And it's an off-on oh. system. So if this was heating the room to 69 degrees, mm -hmm. and, and the thermostat says it's 60, it shuts that off, opens the damper to the outside, and brings the 35 degree air all the way across the students to make it back to that thermostat. To heat the room up again. To heat the room. And it's the opposite in the summer. So if it's... Wow. 69 degrees or a little lower at 68 yeah, in the summer yeah. and, and it's 85 degrees outside right we now bring that 85 degree weather across and yeah across our students and, and it's, and on any given day summer winter uh, well winter the most is mm -hmm. you'll walk by a classroom and there'll be kids in jackets and snuggies and blankets scarves around the neck probably of the yeah. hot cold hot cold hot cold so yeah. it's very important for us. Yeah, I don't know how anybody learns in that kind of environment. Yes. I really don't. So as we go throughout the building, Christy, mm -hmm. we'll see some of the, the older electrical panels. Okay. These are the breaker panels. Yeah. Uh, and, and they're original to the building. And when we started inspecting these, we found out that the, the wiring in there has the old cloth wiring. So 1922, they didn't use the plastic or rubber insulation. Oh, and if yeah. you touch them, it just flakes off. 
and you have nothing but bare wire. Well, wire. cloth would deteriorate after. Yes. So that's one of years. our biggest concerns. Is we, we, there's all throughout the building. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have new electrical, but these are still in use. They were never replaced or updated by the new systems. So this is part of the science lab here. And as you can see, as we go through, we've seen a lot of water spots in the ceilings sure. and the tiles looking bad. This is what happens. We have water coming in the building and we begin to have major damage. I, I mean, those tiles look like they could fall any minute. That's, that's part of drywall. But yes, yes, we have to get in here and, and get this patched up and, and correct the leak. Uh, it's just one, it's just the ongoing battle that we do from year to year to year. So this is our inf information and technology room. That's, uh, but as you can see, as we talk about systems and, and things not working, mm -hmm. the water damage on the wall, the plaster peeling off, and it's right near electrical oh. panel, a main electrical panel. Oh my gosh. If you look down the wall, you can see many other areas down through there that's been tried to be patched yeah. and repaired. Yeah. It's that, just, that whole this thing. is what we continuously fight daily, weekly, monthly, season-wise as it changes. Uh, when it gets into the rainy season, we begin to panic. Yeah. And uh, we don't know where the next leak's coming from. Yeah. Oh, this is a look at this. The, yes, it's, the it's, plaster it's, is all over the floor. You're separating right here in that seam. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, it's time to make a change. Yeah. It's time to give us buildings that we know that will last another 50, 60, 70 years. Yeah. Yeah, there are just band-aids everywhere, everywhere in this building which costs money every time you have yes. to do that, costs staff yes. time, yes. and and it's, again, unsafe. And then and you can smell the difference in this room. You smell a musty smell. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Mm -hmm. Because there's water, and there's it keeps water. coming through the, the fascia. Yeah. This has a new roof above it. So oh, it's all kidding. coming from the brick fascia, yeah. make it back through this wall, back into this room. <sighs> oh, God. I mean, when you, yeah, when you really come in here, yeah, I, I'm floored. I just, uh, there's so much. All right, Christy, so we're getting close to the end of the tour. And in, in this tour, uh, there's, there's three things that we really haven't spent a lot of time talking about. One's ADA, mm -hmm. one's sprinkler system, and security. Mm -hmm. These are the three most important things that we can have. Mm -hmm. If you look at our school, this is our main entrance in. The two mm -hmm. side entrances on Oakland and Fairview, steps. Yeah. So. A person that needed to get into the building has to go to the back side of the yeah. building and come in. Through an ADA program, you, you, you've got to allow the kids to come in with everybody else. Sure, in the front door. I and mean, the other two things is, is we need to get the security. We have no cameras in the building. Or we have little fob systems on the door. Uh, it's not secure enough. Yeah. We've got to make sure district-wide that we have a safe place for our kids yeah, to come yeah. every day. Yeah, that's quite clear, and I'm sure uh, yeah. the whole community would not argue about that with the climate and the state no. of affairs and, and in schools. The last yeah. part of this is we need to be, have a sprinkler system throughout our whole building. We have, mm -hmm. we have little sensors in the roof that sets off the fire alarm, and even investing into the school, you don't put the fire out. Yeah. We wait to the fire really? truck. We need really? a sprinkler system throughout that isolates the fire and, and puts it out. Well, thanks a lot, Brad. Oh. I really appreciate all your time. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot to talk about with other people now.